What's up, family? Normally, I don't get into other folks' relationships, but when it comes to this dude, Adolf Twitler, I have to say that I kind of rejoice in the fact that he ain't getting none from his own wife. Oh, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing to see him basically as the president of the United States, the boss, calling all the shots, pushing people around. But he can't push his wife closer to him. Yeah. Remember when Emmanuel Macron came and visited the Capitol? And that was this excruciating look on his face. He was just in so much pain, trying to make it seem like his relationship with his wife was natural. You know, the French president and his wife, you know, they came off as very natural, like a loving couple, whereas Donald Trump was watching their movements and stuff, and he was trying to emulate what they were doing, trying to, like, he didn't know what to do as a, a person who was supposed to be in a loving relationship. It's like he was still a little kid trying to learn what he should be doing. So he's watching the French president to figure out what he should be doing. It was very painful. Well, not painful for me, painful for him. These are just some signs that Donald Trump's marriage will not survive his presidency. When a marriage is going through some stuff, it's sometimes suggested to sleep in separate rooms. It gives the couple some personal space and may help them to sleep a little better to face their problems they're having. But Donald and Melania slept in different states. Their excuse was they wanted Baron, their son, to finish out the school year, but Melania made no effort to expedite the moving process and seemed reluctant as she could be to move into 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This is the White House, y'all. Man, you know like I know. Man, a woman be excited to get up in that White House and do some decorating, move around, show her friends what the landscape look like. Come on, man. The marriage has been on the rocks for a long time. Now, let me put this out here. I have zero sympathy for Melania Trump. She knew what she was signing up for when she saw that trick. I don't recall. Oh, well, yeah, they met at, a, I think they said the Met Gala, I believe. The Met Gala. I was about to say the Met Gala. The Ga Met Gala. <laughs> I believe they met at the Met Gala, right? And when she saw that trick, she saw that trick from a mile away, man. You know, them women, all the women out there who's ever dealt with a trick, y'all know y'all can spot a trick from a mile away. And she saw that big old trick. He probably was sitting at the table talking about, hey, uh, I'm Donald. I'm Donald. Um, I got a lot of money. Uh, you know, you know, I'm one of the richest guys in New York City. Um, you should hang out with me. Come, come with me and. And, and hang out and kick it, you know. Uh, I know Puffy, uh, well, I still call him Puffy, but everybody else call him Diddy. I know Puffy and, uh, you know, Steven Seagal's are friends of mine. And Steven Seagal and uh, his wife, and, uh, you know, uh, I know Sylvester Stallone. Uh, and I, I, I can do some things for you, you know. I know you model and stuff. I think you, you're an escort, or what are you? Oh, you're not an escort. You're a, a model. You print? You model? Oh, okay. Well, I can help you with that. You know, maybe you can come on my show and, uh, you know, we can, you know, we can get to know each other. You know, he just laid the trick down. He just laid all the tricking down. Like, you need a house? You need an apartment or something? I can help with that. Uh, I just need you to not be repulsed by, you know, kissing on me, you know, like, cause I like to smooch. Uh, and Melania, what is that smell? 
it smells so huge. I mean, it's it's hugely appealing. What is it? That's deodorant, Donald. Oh, wow. Never smelled that before. Oh, wow, that is fantastic. You think I could use some? You definitely can use some, Donald. <laughs> wow. How did Melania Trump think that Donald Trump was not going to do her dirty? He cheated on Ivana with Marla and cheated on Marla with her. And now he's cheated on her with everybody. All kind of people. Porn stars. Playmates. Regular street hookers. Notice I've made a difference between the regular street hookers and the other hookers. Uh, yeah, just about everybody. I think one of these days it's going to be revealed that he also cheated with a man, too. I think that's going to come out one day. Because he's just got those type of mannerisms, man. You got to watch him real closely. Strange fellow. Trump, straight trash. Can't wait till he's out. Some people are wishing really, really bad on him. Like, I said, nah, man, we don't have to, we don't have to wish it bad that way we can just let nature take its course right the dude has a steady diet of 10 double meat cheeseburgers a day minimum a whole case of diet coke daily he eats about 17 large bags of cheetos every day the, the dude brushes his teeth with sneakers just let nature take its course. He's 71 years old. And he don't work out. Let's just let nature take its course. <laughs>